Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a review of a new menstrual cup I just got last month and it's also a new menstrual cup on the market. It hasn't been out very long to the best of my knowledge and it's called the salt cup. As you can see here is my salt cup. I've used this for one cycle so far. I just received it in the mail about a month ago and I have to say I really really like this cup. It was really um, a great cup. It surprised me how much I like it, given it is a touch firm, and I ha typically have trouble with firm cups. But I had no problem at all with this cup, and it's quickly making its way to be one of my top favorite cups. So this is definitely going to be a positive review, as I have very positive things to say about this menstrual cup. Okay, as you can see, here's my cup. The size I have is the regular size. The, the salt cup comes in two sizes. It comes in a small size and a regular size. The small size has a capacity of 25 millimeter, milliliters, sorry, and the regular size has a capacity of 30 milliliters. This is the regular size. I usually go with the larger size menstrual cups for most, most companies, so that's why I chose this size, as I felt it would be a better fit for me. This cup has four suction release holes. As you can see around the side, it has a bell shape. It has a slight ridge, like near the rim, to help. I think that's to help it pop open, but I'm not sure. And it has, I'd say, a medium firmness. And the firmness is similar throughout the menstrual cup. If anything, the top might be a little softer than the bottom, but they feel pretty similar. You have three grip rings on this cup that make it really easy to remove. And one thing that's really interesting about this cup is I did not have to remove the stem. And this is the first menstrual cup I've ever used where I have been able to wear it with the stem in. So for me, that was really impressive. And I was really happy about that. I've never had that happen before. I've always had to um, cut off the stem. And with this cup, the stem is so soft and squishy. I didn't notice it at all when I was wearing it. And it was super comfortable. So that was... Something that was interesting about this cup is that I didn't have to modify it, and I was happy about that. Um, this cup has, like, medium firmness. You can do all the traditional folds with it. I use the C-fold, which is just the C-fold. Pops open. The punch-down fold. Or the seven-fold. This menstrual cup comes in this bag here. Came in just a basic menstrual cup bag. It's a nice bag. It says salt on it. Makes it easy for traveling. One thing I wish they would have done is I wish they would have coordinated the color of the cup a little bit more to the bag, but that really doesn't matter. But I just thought that would be a cute idea if the cup and the bag matched, but they didn't do that, but that's fine. This cup comes in two colors. It comes in this ocean blue color, and also it comes in a color I believe called Himalayan pink. And that's, as you'd imagine, is a pink color similar to the pink linen cup. Um, this cup retails for $27. And you can purchase it on the Salt Cups website, which I will be listing down below. Overall, this cup was a great cup. I had no leakage at all. It popped open really easily for me, which was great. There was no issues getting it to pop open. And I was really happy with it. This is a cup I'm definitely going to be probably using every month now. This and my Fun Cup are quickly becoming my two favorite menstrual cups. And I was really happy with this and really... Um, Glad I tried this cup. Like I said, I'll put the link down below. I'm going to have some more reviews coming up soon. I just ordered the Intamina Ziggy cup, which is a really interesting cup that's new to the market, and it's shaped very much like a diaphragm. So I was really interested in trying that cup, so I'm just waiting for it to come in the mail so that I can try it out the cycle and get a review for you guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos, please put it in the comments, and I will try to get back to you. Um, that's all for today. Bye.